what's up guys welcome back to the phono guy and in this video i am going to share with you people the tips and tricks of nokia 8 and nokia 7 i have done the complete review of nokia 8 on my channel and you can check out all those videos which i have made on nokia 8 this one is a premium device by nokia which comes with snapdragon 835 and 4 gigabytes of ram and the nokia 7 which is just now released has come with snapdragon 630 with 3 gigabytes of ram and this is a true mid-ranger by the nokia and although there are many hardware differences between both the devices but the software features in both the devices are almost close to identical and there are no major differences so we can test all those features on Nokia 8 and find out all those hidden tips and tricks which are same between both the devices in Nokia 8 and the Nokia 7 now let's simply jump into our first step and that is the glass feature which is present under the display option and if you turn this feature on by by going into the glance which is under the display option and let's just simply turn this feature on and you can see this feature is turned on now just simply lock the device and you can see the always on feature is turned on which is called glance in Nokia 8 and Nokia 7 and these features are called the always on features in LG G6 and uh, the Samsung Galaxy S8 and you can just simply turn this feature on and there are many multiple options available under this option which you can control and turn them on and off according to your likelihood and there is also a timeout feature when the device will not detect any movement it will simply uh, turn the device off and it will bring this uh, glance feature onto the screen and this is a very useful feature i hope you like this one and now let's move to our next feature which is the how to take the screenshot in nokia 8 and nokia 7 and many people will be curious and many people won't know this feature and it is a very simple process by just simply pressing the power key button and the volume down button simultaneously it will take the screenshot and let's try it and sorry for this one and now let's try it again and you can see that the screenshot has been taken and now let's check out the screenshot and you can clearly see that it has been captured and you can also edit this screenshot by just pressing this button and there are many different features available which you can use and you can also check out its details and even you can directly send it anywhere you want which is very useful and the next set of our tips and tricks belongs to the camera and now let's simply jump into the camera and check out all those tips and tricks which are present in the camera feature and if you press this button you can check uh, and you can see that there is the live focus feature available and if I just bring this object into this live focus and to show you that how to use the live focus and if you just simply press on the screen the autofocus will come out and it will bring a slider on the screen which you can use to adjust the amount of blur in the background and you can just simply take the snap and if i show you the snap again you can see the background is now blur and you should remember that this feature is only for nokia 8 and nokia 7 does not have the dual camera so this feature will not be available in the nokia 7 so now let's simply check out the next feature which is present in the camera application and let's find out again what we have next in the camera application and simply pressing this button again we have the beautify option here and you can increase the amount of exposure on the face by the autofocus and it will take brighter photos by using the beautify option and we have the panorama and the normal photo option by pressing this button on the top you can see we have a set of different options available and i just want to show you one feature which is the booty effect which is available in nokia 7 and the nokia 8 and you can see that it is taking advantage of both the cameras the front and the back you can simply snap the photo and it will save it as a booty by having both the front and the back photos and now moving to the next step of ours which is that how to uh, use multiple options which are available in the settings of this camera i have already made a detailed video on all these settings which are available in the settings but i just want to touch on this watermark feature which is a very useful feature to use in this camera and you can see i have written the phono guy on the top you can just use it as a label on your photo and the video and you can increase its size and decrease its size as much as you like and even you can make it blur and you can bring it in the middle and change its positions by using these different features and if you just swipe to the right you can also uh, turn the location feature on the image and even the temperature and multiple different features are available which is very useful and it will save it as a watermark and let me just show you that how it works so for example you can see this phono guy is now here and if I just simply snap this photo and go into the photo gallery to show you that this image has just uh, saved it with watermark and it is written the phono guy on this image now and this is a very useful feature to use and it is called the watermark and it has come with multiple different options 
now let's again go to the settings and just to highlight the multiple options that you can turn on the compass on the camera screen and even you can check out the altitude by just simply turning on it on the camera and i have made a complete video you can check that video too and you will find out all the details of this camera and now let's move to the final tip which is available in this camera feature this is the live broadcast feature and if you just turn this feature on and go back into the camera again and go into the video mode and when you are into the video mode you just press this button on the top and you have the facebook and the youtube live features available here very useful feature to use with these live broadcasts is to use these audio features which are available and you can use the front mic and you can use the surround mic which uses the front and the back and you also have the third option here which is uh, to use the back only and that is very useful feature to use when you are uh, actually broadcasting and you can just turn on the front mic and it will give a very beautiful sound experience the next up is the google assistant and to turn on just simply press the home button and it is turned on and you can ask different questions to the google assistant and now let's move to the photos application and here i just want to share with you different uh, things and first of all let's see this booty which i have taken it which uses both the front and the back and if i simply delete this photo go into this top left bar and go into the bin and you can see the deleted photo is available here and i can simply just restore this photo by just pressing this button or permanently delete this photo that is a very useful feature and you can see the photo is back now and and if uh, we go back again into the bin and you can see all these photos are available here and if i just want to permanently delete them i can delete them permanently and i can also restore these photos which is very useful if you accidentally have deleted any of your photos you can just simply restore them from the bin and next up is a tap to wake feature which is available under the display in the settings and you, if you have simply turned this feature on and by turning this feature on just lock the device and double tap on the screen and when you double tap the screen will wake up without even pressing the lock screen button to open the device in the settings we again go into the display and in the display we have a very useful feature which is the screen saver actually these screen savers are available in all the phones but one very interesting feature which nokia has brought is the clock and when you are charging the device the clock will come out on your big screen and you can even turn the theme of this clock and by just simply keeping it turned on this feature will just bring a clock on the screen when you are charging the device and next we have this navigation keys light you can turn this light on and off if you want to keep this on and off and even you can uh, control the timer of these navigation key light next up we have few simple things in the display which is the font size which everyone knows to control and you can increase and decrease the font size of your device according to your requirement and even we have the display size controller here you can control the display size and it also changes the icon size with it and just to show you if i just increase the icon size and you can see on the screen that the size of the icon is slightly increased now and next up we have a feature to control the notifications on the lock screen and if i just simply go into the notification panel in the settings and you can see that we can control the notifications on the lock screen and we can show the notifications on the lock screen and even we can hide it and i have just selected not to show these notifications on the lock screen and just simply go into the notification and control the different three features which are available according to your requirement and it can even hide the sensitive data which you just don't want to show on the screen and you can even allow different apps to be shown on the screen and not to be shown and let's now again go into the settings and and see what we have next and next up we have this gestures option and if i just simply turn this feature on what it does it allows me to jump into the camera by just simply pressing the power key twice and you can see i am into the camera by just simply pressing the power key twice and next up we have the storage option in the settings which you can control in the nokia 8 and the nokia 7 and let's just simply go into the storage option now and you can see all the details are available but i just want to show you one feature which is the explore feature and when you go into this explore feature you can explore all the data which is available in your device and it, it, you can manage all this data and you can know that which which thing is occupying more space and you can simply keep it or delete it by just having a look on this explore feature which is very useful to use and it has multiple different options which allows you to control the data in different ways and i highly recommend to use this feature whenever you are overloading your device and same uh, with the battery you can also turn on the battery saver next up we have the guest 
guest mode option which is available in the settings in the users option and if you go into this feature you have this guest option which you can just simply turn on and you can allow the phone calls to be attended by this guest and you just have to make a different account and you can even put a password to it and allow emergency calls and add users by just simply turn this feature on and you have one of your accounts and one you have one guest account which can be used by different people who just want to access your device which is a very useful feature to use in nokia 8 and the nokia 7 next up we have the magnification gestures by simply going into the settings accessibility and you have these magnification gestures available here and just simply turn these gestures on and if i just simply uh, double tap on the screen you can see the screen is totally zoomed in and by two fingers you can just scroll here and there on the screen and when you twice uh, press the screen it goes back to the normal and on the twice press it goes back to the zoomed in screen and you can stretch it uh, you can see i am just using two fingers to stretch it and when you do triple tap it goes back to the normal and you can turn this feature on when you have uh, used this mag magnification feature on your device and you can also cancel the phone calls by simply turn power button and call option on the accessibility and that's it guys these were all the features which were available on nokia 7 and the nokia 8 and there are no differences in the features in both the devices they are almost the same in both the devices and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then give this video a thumbs up and up till next video bye bye and peace